In the vast and ever-changing landscape of agriculture, the Combine Harvester stands as a colossal and versatile titan. This remarkable machine skillfully merges the age-old tasks of reaping, threshing and winnowing into a single, streamlined process. In the early chapters of its history, Combine Harvesters were drawn and operated using mule or horse teams. This method though revolutionary for its time, required significant animal labor and was limited in efficiency. However, with the relentless march of time and technology, a transformative change occurred. The introduction of steam power and later internal combustion engines marked a significant leap forward. These advances propelled agricultural machines into a new era, evolving from animal-drawn simplicity to the engine-powered behemoths we recognize today. This transition not only enhanced the machine's efficiency, but also reshaped agricultural practices, setting the stage for modern, large-scale farming. The fundamental use of combine harvesters lies in harvesting crops. Most of the time, they are used to harvest crops like wheat, corn, soybeans, barley, rye, and other grains. Once the machine lays its wheels on the field, it just needs the operator's go signal to cut and collect grain. What's more fascinating is that nothing goes to waste. But how do combine harvesters work? Well, their mechanism is pretty simple to understand. First, it has a special header built with blades, rotors or sickles. This part of the machine is responsible for cutting the crop and feeding it into the machine. The reel pulls the crops up into the cutter bar where they will be sliced with extreme precision. From then on, the Arga transports the chopped crops into the machine, orchestrated by efficiency and necessity, to the point where it almost feels like it moves in a rhythmic dance. Even when it is working in challenging fields and terrains, its wheels or tracks are capable of moving around with such ease. Then, its threshing drum breaks away the grain from the stalks to clean them. To separate the wheat from the chaff, or what's valuable from the waste, the grains are pounded out of the heads inside the threshing drum. In order to help the straw fall out, the concave lets the grains fall through. After that, the grains go through a cleaning system that usually consists of sieves and a fan. Most combined harvesters use gravity or aerodynamic separation techniques to separate the grain from the straws. The leftover straw and chaff can be saved for later, used or biled for use as animal feed after processing. Following their separation from the chaff, the grains are sorted by size and weight, and any leftover debris is removed using a sequence of screens and air jets. Throughout this process, it is important that the operator regularly monitors the progress to make sure the machine is still up to its optimal performance. To help with this, most of the combine harvesters are designed with adjustable settings and user-friendly cabs, so the operator can easily spot any issue or malfunction. Once the machine passes through the whole field, the harvested grain will be unloaded. The workers will move these grains from the storage tank to the bins or trucks that will further process them. To keep the machine functioning well after harvesting, operators also carry out routine maintenance every day after harvest. This includes the cleaning and replacement of worn-out parts. The agricultural sector is already crowded with companies that specialize in making efficient farm machines, and one of them is John Deere. John Deere is an American corporation led by Deere and Company. They are known for manufacturing agricultural machinery, heavy equipment, forestry machinery, diesel engines, drivetrains like axles, transmissions, gearboxes used in heavy equipment, and lawn care equipment. But today, we will focus on their combine harvesters. John Deere has two known series for them, the X and S series. It is already difficult enough to harvest during normal conditions, because timing and accuracy need to go hand in hand with care too. Factors like wet corn, tough straw, and less than ideal harvest conditions make things even harder for farmers. If not dealt with properly, it can lead to a tight harvest window and an even tighter profit margin. This can result in what many fear, losses. As a way to combat that struggle, John Deere developed its X-Series Combine Harvesters. These machines promise to deliver more productivity and low losses, which means that the farmer can truly experience more tasks done in just one day. 
whether it is day or night, these harvesters will come through. With twin rotor technology for quicker grain separation and a wider cleaning shoe, the X-Series is designed for maximum throughput and efficiency. These dual rotors are programmed to rotate in opposite directions at different speeds, so the grain can be separated from the chaff more efficiently. Because of this, farmers will experience minimized straw loss, as well as a higher capacity to handle heavier crops and increase their overall harvesting capacity. On top of that, this series can handle tougher conditions and a wider variety of crops, providing up to 45% more harvesting capacity compared to the S series. It is surprising how it is capable of doing that while using 20% less fuel. Speaking of fuel consumption, the engines of John Deere X series combined harvesters are built to deliver efficient performance. It has a maximum output of at least 100 tons per hour at a 1% loss. This engine is also designed to be 10% lighter without compromising the power that it produces. In fact, it can increase torque by 30% and offer 20% better fuel economy. When it comes to carrying larger loads, which is common in harvesting, the engine of the X-Series is also equipped with the ProDrive XL transmission. This helps give around 30% more torque for larger loads, while the Harvest Motion concept offers a highly efficient driveline with very low RPM during operation. Most of the time, the whole harvesting season for farms lasts for about three months. It is quite long, so it is important to partner up with a machine that is robust enough to stand the test of time. The S-Series does not only promise this, but also aims to deliver more. This is a series of John Deere Combine harvesters, known for their trustworthiness, dependability and effectiveness. Versatility and user-friendly features are the main qualities of the S-Series. With a single rotor system, it provides a multitude of customization choices to suit varying field circumstances. To accommodate varied farming activities, the S-Series comes with a range of haulage options, including attachments that may be mounted either front or back. Even though the S-Series may not have the X-Series enormous capacity, it is more well-established and typically easier to maintain. One of the largest combines in this series is the S790. This combine harvester has an engine capable of producing up to 543 horsepower. It is built with a combine advisor package that helps to set, optimize, and automate main combine functions when conditions change. Plus, it is equipped with a fully automated yield sensor calibration with active yield that supplies accurate data with no time spent calibrating. This machine can indeed handle large quantities of crops with ease. What separates the S-Series from the X-Series is its single rotor concept. Although it has only one rotor, this concept delivers higher throughput, improved grain quality, and better harvesting in tough crops and challenging conditions. With its cutting-edge design, the John Deere S-Series single rotor optimizes productivity while minimizing crop damage. One of the main features is the eight-wing feed accelerator with a stone trap which ensures a smooth transition from horizontal to axial flow while packing the rotor with a lot of crops. The straw mat thickness of the crop gradually reduces as it moves through the conical threshing region, effectively separating the remaining crop at the back. The eccentric mounting of the John Deere S series single rotor, which produces a distinctive draw and release effect, is one of its most notable features. When the crop reaches the concave surface, this action pulls it lower. When it goes upward, it releases the crop. This action not only provides increased aeration within the crop, but also reduces straw damage. Additionally, the larger diameter of the single rotor generates nearly twice the centrifugal force compared to alternative designs, leading to improved separation and reduced reliance on larger separation areas. The John Deere Company was founded by a blacksmith named John Deere. He experienced bankruptcy in the 1830s and moved to Grand Detour, Illinois in 1836. He opened a shop in Grand Detour and began creating other tools such as pitchforks and shovels. 
Deere's self-scouring steel plow, invented in 1837, became popular due to its ability to slide easily through the soil, which facilitated migration into the American Great Plains. Deere realized that the traditional way of doing business was slow and started increasing production rates by manufacturing plows before selling them. This allowed customers to see what they were buying before making a purchase, leading to increased popularity. In 1843, he established a commercial partnership with Leonard Andrus and built a two-story factory in Illinois, known as the L. Andrus Plow Manufacturer. After the partnership dissolved in 1848, Deere moved to Moline, Illinois. There he established a new business with Robert Tate and constructed a 1,440 square foot factory. By 1849, the Deere, Tate and Gould Company was producing more than 200 plows per month. Deere and Company employs approximately 67,000 people globally, with its principal sites being its corporate headquarters in Moline, Illinois, and production facilities in the central and southeast regions of the United States. The company has a unique logo, featuring a jumping deer, painted in a characteristic shade of green with a yellow inside border. In 2017, Deer and Company purchased Blue River Technology, a California-based startup that uses machine learning to reduce herbicide use in agriculture. In November 2019, John May took over as CEO and President. In 2021, Deer unveiled a self-driving tractor for large-scale farming and plans to link half a billion acres of used land and 1.5 million operational machines to its cloud-based John Deere Operations Center. Now, let us take a look at how they really make these incredible combine harvesters. John Deere has been known for their high-quality machinery ever since they started. Even in the current scene, they keep on doing things better. In one of their factories in East Moline, you can see how their company has combined the best tools, the best processes, and even the best people to manufacture their combine harvesters. To ensure the quality of these harvesters, they are all built to order. Come and take a look at their manufacturing process through this video. In any manufacturing process, the first step always goes to designing and prototyping. In their case, they have hired the best engineers and experts to create detailed designs and models of the machine. They also create prototypes to test and validate the design. Then, they proceed to choose the materials for the machine. Once all the designs are approved and the materials are chosen, they proceed with the press shop. This is where all the large-scale metal forming processes occur, and they are mainly assisted by a hydraulic press. These presses apply tremendous power to raw materials, such as aluminum, steel sheets, or other metals, in order to mold them into the appropriate shapes for a variety of products. Then, all the action begins with steel cutting. Combined harvesters are made up of steel and other materials, and to form them into the design the company wants, they use laser cutters. These can cut steel that is up to one and a half inches thick. If the measurement exceeds that, John Deere uses a plasma cutting device, and if it reaches up to three and a half inches, the oxy-fuel cutting machine will be employed. After cutting the steel parts, they will be organized into kits and advanced to welding areas. John Deere makes sure that all their machines are made from high-quality materials and expert hands, so they hire highly trained welders and sophisticated robots to wield these steel parts. One of the most important parts of a combine harvester is its threshing rotor. It is responsible for separating the grain from the chaff and straw, allowing the grain to be collected and stored for use. The rotor, concaves and sieves are the components that make up the threshing rotor. When the rotor is operating, it rotates quickly, striking the grain and chaff and breaking them apart with the bars or paddles. While the straw and chaff are blasted out of the machine's rear, the grain passes through the sieves. After that, the straw and chaff are usually thrown away, but the grain is gathered and kept for later use. Workers at John Deere meticulously balance the rotor and other components to reduce vibration and wear, and they make sure that the materials they choose will endure the high speeds and forces involved in the threshing process. The grain is collected and moved from the cutting mechanism to the storage tank with the aid of the auger, 
a revolving device that resembles a screw, usually constructed from sturdy materials like carbon steel or stainless steel. The harvester alga is meant to endure the rigors of harvesting season after season. Every machine's heart is its engine. The makers of John Deere Combine Harvesters make sure that all of the engine's components are capable of providing high power and efficient fuel use. The engine, which supplies the energy to power the rest of the system, is the brains behind the powertrain. Casting, machining and assembling procedures are commonly used in the manufacturing of the powertrain parts of combine harvesters. Before being put together to form the entire powertrain system, the engine and transmission are frequently constructed independently. Usually constructed of sturdy materials like steel or aluminum, the drivetrain and axles are intended to endure the heavy weights and strains associated with harvesting. After all that, the workers at John Deere start building up the cabin. This is according to the design that they have prototyped for the machine. Now, let us take a look at the assembly line for John Deere Combine Harvesters. The actual assembly of the machine is assisted by automatic guided vehicles. These robots help put together the different components of a combine harvester. At this specific facility, their assembly line can accommodate eight different combine harvester models with five or six straw walkers. Modern technology, like the scan system at John Deere's Combine Harvester Manufacturing Factory, improves production precision and efficiency. Every portion of the Combine Harvester is scanned and inspected using cutting-edge sensors and cameras to make sure they all fulfill the strictest quality requirements. The manufacturing execution system from John Deere and the scan system are fully connected, enabling real-time production data monitoring and analysis. As a result, the organization can decrease downtime and boost overall efficiency by swiftly identifying and resolving any difficulties that may develop throughout the production process. Assembling the machine does not mean the process ends. It still needs to go through the testing center. If you have wondered why every machine John Deere sells does not have a zero meter, well, that's because of their tests. The manufactured combine harvesters have to go through a test track for at least 45 minutes to make sure that they will work smoothly. After that test, the machine still has to go through a 74-point inspection sensor. This will detect if there are any abnormal vibrations. It also makes sure that the machine's hydraulic filtration is connected and works fine. In short, this machine does not leave the facility without getting checked and tested inside and out. John Deere developed a wide hinged frame draper for its combine harvesters. This one is 50 feet wide, and due to its hinged frame, it is capable of constantly adjusting to the ground. This results in more crop capture and minimal loss. With the X9110, farmers can harvest 30 acres every hour, or up to 320 acres in a day. John Deere also developed rigid and flexible cutter bars, ranging from 35 to 50 feet wide, these provide straight cuts on even uneven crop fields. Corn headers are made for collecting row crops, like corn, with the use of collection chains that use knife rolls to break stalks and cones that fit nicely between corn rows. Suitable for row crops like corn and soybeans, these headers move the corn into the feeder house of the combine. Wheat headers, sometimes referred to as draper headers, load the harvest into the combine for separation using a central belt that receives crop feeding via belts. They work well with wheat, cereals, beans, and peas. The John Deere headers are known to claim to tackle more acres and have higher yields. They also promise to successfully overcome tougher stalks during harvest. Their headers and platforms are also strong enough to cut the toughest, thickest crop with ease helping to ensure every kernel makes it inside the combine. The John Deere combines are also known for their belt pickup. Even in uneven terrain or dense windrows, the BP-15 belt pickup facilitates an efficient and thorough collection of windrowed grain. In addition to picking up 30 acres of wheat and 23 acres of canola windrows per hour, the X9 Combine and BP-15 can establish larger 20-inch gauge wheels 
without the need for tools and boost feed auger, speed by 20% for canola and high yielding wheat. Furthermore, up to 0.10 bushels of canola are saved per acre by the factory installed crop shield. Grain is moved by large augers from the cutting mechanism to the unloading system or storage tank. By offering a steady and dependable grain flow, they lower the possibility of obstructions or jams. The combine harvester's total capacity is increased, since more grain may be carried simultaneously, thanks to the auger's wider diameter. Farmers will be able to harvest more acres in less time, since there will be less time spent unloading grain. In order to minimize tire and track wear during night harvesting, these lightweight deflectors are incorporated into the frame of combine tractor grain carts and other implements. By modifying the headlights, they make it easier for grain cart drivers to see the corn edge and make sure they are in the correct row. Numerous cutting edge features of the X9 Combine Harvester improve operator comfort, visibility and production. The active seat suspension system is one of its most notable characteristics. With 90% of vertical movements dampened by this technology, the ride is incredibly smooth and the operator's fatigue is decreased. As a result, the operator can concentrate more on the task at hand due to increased comfort and decreased physical strain. Its sophisticated lighting system is yet another important advantage. With twice as much light produced as previous versions, the 360-degree LED lighting package ensures great visibility during nighttime operations. The wide beam angle and high intensity of the lights also improve visibility during daytime tasks, making it easier to monitor the field and unload grains. It also features a wide 106-degree unloading auger, grain tank, and rear of the combine, all designed to simplify unloading during the day. These features allow farmers to work efficiently and complete tasks quickly, maximizing their yields and profits. This groundbreaking track, with a 30% footprint and low grown pressure, is the John Deere tractor sign. Its triangular design includes five pivot points, a suspension system for outstanding performance, and a positive drive system for increased traction and power. It can travel at up to 40 km per hour on roads and is offered in 24 and 30 inch tracks for the UK market. The tracks guarantee low operating costs for owners because they contain sealed mid-roller units, have no grease spots and require no daily maintenance. The revised tread and belt design also results in a 50% boost in durability. Some of their combine harvesters come equipped with a cutting-edge technology called John Deere Autopath. In the field, it enables the machine to autonomously follow a predefined path, eliminating the need for manual steering and increasing accuracy and efficiency. The machine's position is tracked by the system, which modifies its path based on sensor data and GPS guidance. This can speed up the harvesting process, lessen operator fatigue, and boost output all around. Seeing all of the effort to provide high-quality machinery, you begin to understand why John Deere stood the test of time. They make sure that the machines they put out deliver what they promise. They are built to serve the rigors of extended use in demanding conditions and are composed of premium materials. This implies that farmers may count on them to complete the task every season. John Deere combines are equipped with advanced technology that makes harvesting easier and more efficient. Machines like these are essential in the fields of agriculture and food production. Aside from making the farmer's tasks easier, it also helps provide for the needs of the market. Manually harvesting crops will no longer do any justice to the fast-growing demands for food. Aside from that, agricultural machines and technologies also help farmers make use of their land and the environment in an efficient yet friendly way. In the end, these developments in technology have enabled farmers all over the world to cultivate their land more successfully and economically than in the past. With unparalleled success, even a little piece of land can be managed with the use of the right agricultural machinery.